Hey guys, what's going on? Cooper here uh, from Terra Helix Gaming. Today we're playing a new game called Firewatch. It's a game by Campo Santo. Uh, it's a one player game. You play as a forest ranger, a ranger of the natural forest. Or... In which you wander around this forest that you've been dropped in and uh it sounds like it's a dumb game i looked at the trailer and it was actually a really cool trailer kind of caught me onto the game been looking forward to this game for about three months now uh it's only digital so ps4 and steam are the only guys that are allowed to use it and it's only 20 bucks 18 bucks right now if you buy it but by the time that you probably hear this, if anyone's out there, uh, you'll probably have to pay the full price of 20 bucks. But 10% off, eh, when it's that low of a price, it really doesn't matter to me. But no, uh, I've just really looked forward to playing this game. And I'm probably going to do some Let's Play episodes on it. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. It's a very, it's a very cartoony feel, uh, not super cartoony like Borderlands, a little more enhanced, kind of like a, kind of like a Team Fortress 2 graphics, but no, it's, it's a very, a very, very beautiful looking game, not having the greatest. Julia girl is. I'm sort of, uh... Ooh, what do we choose? Yeah, let's go with your pretty. I'm more of a charming guy. So we'll see how this plays out. Cheeseburger, she says. I'm already liking. We're her boyfriend now. This sounds great. Whoa! Well, alright. Put on the old backpack. I'm gonna go to that car. Beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julie wants to get a dog. I'm down with the dog. Hmm. Beagle or Shepherd? Ah, uh, I like German Shepherds. I really like German Shepherds. Oh, we have that dog noise. Julia still loves him, probably because she loves me, because of all the beers I put into her. Kids, I'm loving this. I'm loving this emotional beginning. Campo Santo, you're doing great. I like kids. I want to be. A, I want to be a father someday, so we'll throw that in. Oh, she already wants to get married. She is absolutely right. Thora Fair Trailhead. Interesting. Just start heading. 
Look at it. Look at this, though. I mean, for being semi-cartoony, it is beautiful. Oh no. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun. You fight when she gets... Do I get mad or do I ignore her? Well, this one's a tough one. I'm not so good with women. So, uh, let's go with, let's go with ignore. You don't touch each other all night. Oh, no. I mean, let's just, let's just get over this and go to work. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plenty research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Do we pose? Yeah, we pose because we're strong. We're not a Victoria's Secret model. Jumping everywhere. Now. I mean, just look at this. This is one of those games where I feel you can only play it once, but just from how beautiful it is, I can already see. Can we run? Can we run? Yes, we can run. Oh, oh, whoop! That was a very, I am. So it's been seven years since we've met Julia. There's a festival in town. Oh no. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Way. May me move fuck the dog. Do we scare him or do we beat his goddamn face? I'm gonna go with beat his face. In. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. What? This is just the guy that was posing like He Man. asks to take a different path from that to you say okay go that way either from then on you'll you walk by the river I agree Julia 84 plans to have kids get waylaid by work Julia gets offered a job at Yale Yale as in Connecticut 2,000 miles away job she wants to move you absolutely do not ah we have to convince her. I don't want to argue right now. Tell her that it's bullshit. Oh, she's totally right. She asks if t her taking the job means you won't. Yeah. Whoa! All right, this is not already not a great relation. Julia asks to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She's lost it on a colleague for borrowing books. That she didn't remember she had happily loaned them. Whoa. Julia's going crazy. We can't forget about this, guys. We have to we have to push forward with this one. We've seen multiple doctors. Julia might be suffering early onset dementia. We'll keep it a secret because that's the only choice. be posing like he meant. That's sad. Yeah, I'm getting older. Her class are recent. She drives her car to the next town. She brought home by the police. Oh, guys. I'm already getting kind of sad playing this game. I already know where it's going, too. What? Her dad's... Oh, their family, they're crushed. They're, they live in Australia. Okay, I picked the wrong family member. Keeps getting worse, though. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the 
visits from Daniel the nerd. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere before our care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. We, we have to take care of our by ourselves. That's how the movie's all. I mean, you've seen The Notebook, right? Oh, beautiful. Shoot forward. Whoa. I don't like that whip turn. Keep pushing forward. For Julia, right? That's the motto of this game, for Julia. For Julia! They're kind of slow. <gasps> Come back. Come back. Maybe that's Julia. Oh, I can't. Without me. Yep. Kick back with an old beer. I'm gonna put a chair in front of the Oh my gosh, wait, I just realized what that meant. <laughs> Over the time you tell Sheila the bartender everything is a huge weight off your home bed by one Wait. Sheila now? No, D.Y. Trying to hide it, but I tell my sister-in-law. I picked the wrong sister, guys. Julie's parents take a... Australia. Julie's coming to live with them. I don't argue. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for... Uh, I'm gonna be a firewatch guy. Ten bucks. Well, this story's already freaking sad. I feel like a crap bat. Hey, that's my lookout. So when we get up here, let's just take a look. Oh, look at that view. So those graphics I was talking about. Looks beautiful. Home sweet home. Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? It's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hmm. What do we choose? We're gonna go... You're just gonna wait me out on this? Oh, wow. <sighs> Fine, but I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about you. If you don't answer quick enough, Let's see. I'll take you off. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Bum, bum, bum. Firewatch. There's a party love in this game. Very simple. Very, very. 
I can already tell that I like the, uh... She's got a calming voice. Little interesting fact. So I'll have to wait. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, Yay! you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. Which one is west? Are those fucking fireworks? Right. Oh, we have our little compass. That's west. Oh, whoa. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Whoa, is that language. Really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. I like kicking the sh Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wait, we have to reply. Secure. Haha. <laughs> hey. Well, Jonesy Lake. That's where I figure we're heading. Let's check out. That's that's where we are. I already tell we need to get to that, so let's just follow this. Gotta go confront these uh, hooligans. Shooting off fireworks. Who shoots fireworks off? In a forest. Oh, it's the supply cache. Get this. We knew it was one, two, four. four. I'm a legend. She said we needed... Oh, wait, wait, whoa. We can update our map information? I like that. Some rope. A granola bar. Whoa. Left or right, this is a big thing. Well, they all, I think no matter what. Worst comes to worst, I think we'll see some fireworks. I think that will guide us there. Plus, I see kind of, oh, yep, there you go, you see that? I'm not going to hop over that because it feels like to hop over stuff. I am the, I am the most unathletic park ranger. 
out there right now. Oh, rope hook. This, this isn't dangerous. I don't think, I don't think park rangers do. Hmm, not bad. Whoa! Oh my god. This is how I die. I got the wedding ring on. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Pretty pissed about that rope, not about me. Well, can we can we go down again? I don't think we need to go down. Shoot some more fireworks off. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. This. Beer can. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What's that? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people... Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're oh. obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Yep. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. So Why, naked. <gasps> Women. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Whoa. Don't pull at us. Yeah. Who the hell are you, creep? Uh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. <laughs> Took your fireworks. Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Also, setting off. Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was a you, you asshole. Yeah. Light another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. All right. Find a way back. Two forks. Right. Let's head back. Hey, that go okay? Now I figured out that uh. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. I found out that. I have the choice to reply and to not reply. I think they said this in one of the... Um, and I find that actually really cool. So you don't, you don't have to talk to Delilah in the other tower. You can basically ignore her the entire time and nothing will change. I think the storyline will be different, but... I mean, I kind of like talking to Delilah. Forging that little relationship, right? So, I have 
have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Delilah sounds cute. Delilah so Let's try to book it. I can already tell. Sun's setting. It's getting purpler. Blur. And, uh... Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. Let's check out this cache. You know, I feel like my guy is kind of a dick, though. Because he really doesn't... Really doesn't, uh, clean up after himself. I like this map information. I think that's a really cool thing. Whoa. A horn. Oh. There she is. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the oh. horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! I had to play that one. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Henry says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. My name's Henry. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Well, that's he's kind of... at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, well, I, okay. so. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Ranger, because I don't think Delilah ever leaves her frickin' tower, but I'm going everywhere. I think it's Division of Labor, and I'm not loving it. Rock areas. I was having a little weird. Trail close sign, I love it. I'm exhausted just from that. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Where's the tower? Get 
generator and outhouse. My typewriter. This music is creepy. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. I've been ransacked. I've been frickin' ransacked. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'll be honest. I do not want to sleep here tonight. But... My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but that I don't guy know looks why suspicious. I want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> Just tell me where to find a gun. Eh. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Oh. Well, guys, it's been a... Uh, it's been a while. So I think I'm gonna call it on this first Let's Play. Uh... Yeah, great game. I really like it. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it too. I'm trying to stay quiet during the period where they're talking, but uh, to let everyone hear what's going on. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe. Uh, hope you come back for episode two. I'm going to be playing the crap out of this game. Alright, thanks.